What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bean's Ball Card Blog on YouTube. You can hear uh, my my lovely wife is over here watching. Uh, what are you watching, honey? Scrooge. Scrooge. And as you can see, speaking of Scrooges, the Christmas tree is behind me. We have it set up. It's not decorated yet, but I think we're gonna do it next weekend. You know, when my stepson is here and let him do it. It's his last real high school Christmas at home. So anyway, went to the. Dallas Card Show, they're having a big three-day show this weekend. Picked up picked up some cards, was going to show it off to you all. Um, also have a quick clip of just kind of a quick video clip. I think I took 20 seconds of video from there. I'm not real good at editing and all that yet, so I didn't take a bunch of them to splice together. It's just one quick video to kind of give you some idea of how big it is. So I will show you that real quick. And then I will be back with some cards, and I will see you on that flip side. Just a quick little run through the Dallas Card Show in Louisville, Texas, that is happening today, and then Saturday and Sunday as well. As you can see, it's pretty deep, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice size uh, show, and that is it for this. All right, y'all, back. Uh, here we go. So let's show off. What I picked up, I'm going to show it in the order that I picked it up. You know, we got maybe a few stories to go along with them. Uh, but I'll try to get a chat out of here relatively quickly. But you know how that goes with me. So the first card I picked up, I usually I go in, I walk the floor, I kind of, you know, I see kind of what's there and then I go back around again. Uh, but usually on my first go, I tend to not buy something. But this time, I actually did. Saw this card and you know, have a story about it, and I was like, okay, he's going to want more for this than, you know, what I think, it, you know, what I'm comfortable paying for it, but I said, eh, what the heck, I'd ask, and I was shocked at the price that was on it, so I picked it up. Not sure how many of you are going to know what this is, but this is the 1980 Wrestling All-Stars Gino Hernandez. And sorry, I have, the, I have my, I'm using my camera because that's where I, or my phone because that's where I have the uh, video from the show. Usually I use my iPad. But anyway, so as you can see, this is graded a near mint eight. The Wrestling All Star set, for those of you that don't know, in a lot of ways, I would liken it to the 86 87 Fleer basketball set of, for wrestling because most of the major stars of the 80s. Uh, this was their rookie card because this is the first thing that really came out in that era. Uh, guys like Andre the Giant had some things from Japan. I think Hulk Hogan had one or two from Japan. But this is the first more mainstream of guys like Hogan, Flair, Andre. I think Junkyard Dog is in here. Kurt Hennig, you might know as Mr. Perfect, is in there. Um, you know, I think think those guys are all in there i couldn't sit here and recite the names this is only the third one of these i have the first two anson of pre-war cards sent to me um but this just isn't something you'd usually see at a card show but anyway the reason i picked this particular one up and i was so interested is gino hernandez uh was a dallas guy which is where i live now i've been here for five years and i mean was an absolute legend around here um his death in the early to mid 80s is shrouded in some mystery there are people that say it was an overdose and i believe that i can't even remember what the actual coroner's report was but it's very suspicious and it's believed that he could be a uh he could have been murdered but he was quite the playboy quite the party boy involved in the drug scene uh youtube i know i've seen some things on youtube on him and then other various ones but Really excited to get this, again, especially for the price I got it. Um, these aren't something I'm actively looking for because they are pretty expensive. But I got, like I said, what I feel is a, a great deal on this for not too much more than it may have cost to slab it, depending on what service they used. Um, but anyway, so that is the first one. And I've got a, you know, I've got a little bit of a, another connection to that. Just, you know, some, some people that knew him that I know uh so just thought that was super cool so the other day I was watching a video and I can't remember who it was maybe it was Scani Tradition I may be completely off but anyway someone was talking about 
their Drew Bledsoe PC. I loved Drew Bledsoe back in, you know, 93. I was collecting every Drew Bledsoe rookie I could get my hands on, but they were kind of expensive for a kid that was 13, 14 years old. Uh, got the jersey for Christmas. That was the old Patriots one that was the royal blue and kind of had the striping on it. I had the second generation starter pullover coat. But I saw this. These next four I got for $10. They were $3 each or a four for 10 table. So I just picked this up just as something to add. I don't know what Drew Bledsoe cards I even have anymore. Obviously, I sold you know a lot of them over time. But I just thought it was cool for $250. I'm like, eh, what the heck. Uh, I've seen a bit of Tony Gwynn love lately. So this, I believe, is a rookie, right? Yeah, 83. 83 Fleer got it for $250. I have his tops. I don't think... I think I have a Donruss. Does he even have a Donruss rookie? I can't remember. But I know I'd, I don't think I've ever had this one. So I thought that was, you know, for 250 that was cool to add. I mentioned on a couple videos ago, I think, how much I love cracked ice. So here is some cracked ice of Charles Barkley, numbered out of 99. Again, for 250 this was actually the first one I saw. And I thought considered just buying it, but I went ahead and did the three more to... You know, only pay seven bucks. And then the last one I took from there, this is for my nephew. Uh, just very shiny prism from last year, Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, he's a huge basketball fan, plays basketball. He's mildly into cards. Um, <laughs> my wife walking through hears me say shiny and does and says, Stole shiny! Even the wives. No Pepino, man. So I was talking, uh, I was talking with a guy and just kind of passively browsing and came across this. It's a, apparently a, it's a, I think a six card set. I did open it up, but what fascinated me is sometimes I like weird random stuff. So as you see at the bottom, it says Carrollton Park Mall. Well, that mall no longer exists. That is a was a local mall. I know uh, my wife was starting to look it up, but I walked away before I found out everything. I'm going to look at it later. But I love some of these old regional ones that are like malls. So okay, so the first one was Stallback. This one is I can't remember who it was. Danny White, I think. Yep, Danny White. We got Tony Dorsett. Uh, I can't remember who that was. Randy White. Charlie Waters, that name actually I have not heard before, and Billy Joe Dupree. But I just, like I said, I thought they were really cool because it's from a mall that doesn't exist. I grew up an hour south of Pittsburgh, uh, and I know that there were some old Pirates and Steelers sets, specifically a Pirates one because I've seen the Clemente, and it's actually one I'd like to get that's from uh, one of the malls that was up there. I can't remember which shopping center or mall it was, but I just love those little pieces of like nostalgia from those little regional issues. Um, yeah, so for 10 bucks at six cards, I was like, oh, that's cool. It's just something I'll look up and see what it was. And it was funny. I know she looked up Carrollton Park Mall and did some images, and this card actually came up repeatedly. So very interesting. So the next four cards I bought off of my uh, good friend Dave. He's uh, a regular seller at the shows, and he always cuts me a great deal. So... I was definitely interested and he cut me an even better deal than I thought. So my Dale Murphy was my first favorite player and then kind of is his career was winding down and you know and then he retired I took on to Will Clark and picked this bad boy up not for that price believe me. Um, I don't think I have this I have a couple of Will Clark autographs but decided you know I knew he was going to cut me a Pretty good deal, so I thought that would be a nice one to add to my collection. I've gotten a little more recently interested in rookies and maybe buying some things and putting them away. So I picked a couple of uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Heritage rookies. I know these aren't Tops Update and all those, but I love Heritage. I'm a big fan of it, so I thought it would be cool. I actually have some packs of these I found recently at some big lots that I'm going to open looking for Acunas and Sotos. But, you know, at the price that he had on these, and I knew it was going to be less than that price, 
decided they were well worth it. And the last one I bought from him, couldn't pass this one up. My wife got a good laugh out of it because she knows that I used to hate Joe Buck with every fiber of my being, and now I actually love the guy. The reason I love the guy, if you love baseball and you love very crude, offensive, dirty comedy, check out the show Brockmire with Hank Azaria. He's a baseball announcer. It's it's. I would say the show, it revolves around baseball, but it's not a baseball show, so to speak. But anyway, um, there are guest appearances of guys playing themselves. George Brett is one in Series 3. And then there's a whole bunch of writers and... Uh, uh, writers and, uh, what am I trying to say? Just media personalities in, uh, Tim Kirkjian is in one episode. Uh, I believe Peter Gammons is in there. They're all playing themselves. Jack Buck is a recurring guy. And, you know, I know that we all think he's a pompous snob and I will tell you, he plays it up. He exa he acts exactly like you want to think that he acts as a jerk and he just plays it up and it's made me get a whole new respect for him. So, if you like that foul kind of comedy, maybe check that out. It's called Brockmire. I know that on Hulu, the first two seasons are available. Um, I don't know where else you can find season three at this point. So this card I literally picked up kind of as an opportunity buy. So you can see, oh, hey, my little uh, back thing is moving. That was disconcerting. Ah, well, that's fun. All right, enjoy that part of the video. So anyway, this had a sticker right here that had 14 on it, which I thought was, well, okay. Uh, for Kai Kai Kyler, 33 Gowdy, I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. I could be wrong. I'm sure one of y'all can let me know that down below. It said 14, and I was like, oh, that seems low. But anyway, I was like, okay, will you take 10 for it? He said, no. He's like, uh, I can do 20. I'm like, well, your, price, your tag said 14. Oh, well, that wasn't a price tag. It wasn't. He explained what it was. I understand. Uh, I balked at 20, and then I decided, uh, decided, you know what, I'll do it anyway. Um, and then looked on eBay, and so I got this for a steal at $20. But it's a Gaudi. I see my lighting's kind of poor. Sorry, y'all. But I was pretty happy to have this. So at that point, I was essentially done. Um, walked around the show to say my goodbyes. As I was walking out, I had tried to stop by Roger Newfelt's table. Uh, some of y'all, especially if you're in my area, may know who he is. He is uh, out of Norman, Oklahoma, and he deals in all vent. He deals in vintage and a lot of pre-war. Uh, he was busy every time I walked by, so I hadn't really had a chance to talk to him. And I was about to leave, but he was right by the door. Well, there was a uh, maybe 10, 10, 12 year old boy looking at. T206 cards, which shocked me, but they had him out, so after he had kind of done his thing, and I kind of looked at the stacks that were remaining, uh, and talked with him, and I just thought it was super cool that he was into that, but anyway, Roger had a, some cards in there that weren't priced, so I was like, hey, these aren't priced, and then I saw what he wrote on them, and I thought, oh, wow, I've kind of burnt out on the T206 a little bit, but this was just an opportunity that these prices that I could not pass up. And man, sorry guys, the lighting is so bad. I wish I could do something to make that better. Does that do anything? Nope. Anyway, sorry y'all. It looks better than it is. But anyway, this is a Johnny Evers. And, you know, it's got a crease, some creasing here. It's got something here, which looks to be maybe additional paper or a sticker. It's not lost. I think it's additional. And the back is pretty rough. But at $25, there was no way I was leaving that there. Yeah, I, I'm still, still, pretty, still pretty amazed by that. And then same thing. He put a $25. Uh-oh, my battery's running out. Got to make this quick was a chief bender. Yeah, it's in rough shape. You can you can see that from You can see that the cards in rough shape, there's no doubt. But it's a chief bender and it was $25. Yeah, the video looks a little better now, so there's a better look at it. And then as Roger always does, he cut me a break. So anyway, so here's a better look at the Evers. Now I know what I needed to do. 
So I knew he was going to cut me a deal. And see, yeah, a lot of back damage, a lot of paper loss. But I am, uh, I'm going to put these in a binder. And I'm not, I'm not, as I collect these, I'm not that big on, or I'm not that worried about the backs and the paper loss. So I was ecstatic to have those. And to actually find one, he had $15 on this to find almost any T206 at that price. I think this one is probably trimmed. Because the top side looks about right. The top looks right. But you can tell it's right below the name on the bottom. So I do think this is trimmed. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. So look at the difference right there. You can kind of see where this one's a little shorter. So, But at $15, even a, any trimmed T206, I'm going to take it to $15. And to just say what the price was, basically... I got this for free with the other two. So, walking literally out the door, I got these. So, made for a pretty good show. But anyway, um, hope you guys like the video. Definitely uh, a lot of different type stuff in there. Very, very, a very big mix. Uh, hope you all like it. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm going to try to do another video tomorrow. Um, don't know that I'll get one Sunday or... You know, much this week because I'm going to have to be working some long days to have Thursday, Friday off. So, not sure. If I don't get a video tomorrow, might be a little while. But anyway, hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. God bless and happy collecting, y'all.